is happening. The computer is going to do our work. AI is coming to take our job. Just kidding. Today, I hope to share with you this platform that can kind of read our PDF. So I'm a big fan of using the right tool to streamline our research. I started from how to collect your literature list by using Zotero, making a library, how to export that list of literature and import it into ResearchRapid, finding the blind spot and then downloading all this PDF. Then now what? It really depends on whether you can read efficiently. A lot of time to PhD student, this is the bottleneck. So I think it is going to be a great piece that is missing from everything that I just spoken about in my previous video. So today I'm just going to show you how I would have combined all of these tools to streamline research. Welcome back to PhD Coffee Time. This is the online community for you as PhD student to get motivation, peer support, and practical tips during your PhD. I talked about how you could explore different literature by using Research Rapid. And Lateral saw that video and they say, hey, viewer, we have some tool for you as well. And you could introduce that to your viewer. At first, I was intimidated by them because I am always an advocate for free software for PhD students. We are not in that financial position to pay. We are a little broke. <laughs> so I was glad that I got on this phone call with Christopher. He told me the beta version is going to be free free. As soon as you sign up for a beta account, your account will stay there, remain the same, even they change the pricing system in the future. And also, if you refer more friends to Lateral, you're going to have more pages of PDF to be read. He has shown me all the tips and tricks that he has learned. And I hope this short video is going to capture how to really get the best out of it. And what's the difference between Lateral, Research Rabbit, PubMed, everything, making the best use of all this new research tool out there. This is not a sponsored video, bookmark to better your systematic review. If you missed my research rapid video, I really hope you will check it out because this is completely different topic. Research rapid in a nutshell is a discovery tool that you could look at a PubMed reference list and to find out what are the blind spots, what are the papers you haven't read. And lateral, I would say is a dream come true for all the systematic review writer. And guess what? Because I'm a full-time medical writer, I'm still reading and writing tons of PDF. And I found that lateral is actually a great solution if you want to quickly, systematically take note of many PDFs. To make a quick demonstration, I performed this search on PubMed. And if you are interested in learning more about advanced search on PubMed, be sure to go to my PubMed video and learn more. Say, for example, you have downloaded these six papers on lateral, create a new project. In this case, I have a search about in silico research in rare diseases, and I created this as a new project. Click upload, then you can drag and drop all your PDF. After that, all the text become readable. Lateral will detect all the pages for you. So on the top, under projects, there are table views, super search, and document view. Let's start with super search, for example, I like to perform a search on all the paragraphs that talks about doses. And I could actually add it under table view and make it a concept. Add these paragraphs that I found relevant into so-called a snippet. You can also double click onto the paper that it's showing the interesting paragraphs or interesting figure legend. It will take you to the document view. Instead of thinking that the computer read it for you, it actually highlights for you the more relevant paragraphs that you can read more carefully with all the context. Lateral can also give you suggested snippets based on what you have already chosen in the previous concept. After some browsing, I have another concept called variant, and I've done similar way to tag different pages, created a few more snippets. In the end, you could actually make this tabular format under document list to concept. And if you look carefully under the tabular view, you can see how many places that you have a bookmark so-called. 
the snippet of where your relevant paragraphs are. You can share the project by making sure you activate public access. Now you can copy the public link and send that in an email and share that with your team or your supervisor. When you share it as a public link, the person can only see a non-editable version of your project table. So if you want them to edit and use the same feature as you do, such as super search and document view, you can invite them to your workplace and give them full access right that will include editing your table. I personally found this valuable in a collaborative environment. And as a medical writer, the function of searching and tagging from all of this paper is really helpful in a systematic review. You're going to need that feature to just quickly look for overall survival percentage, efficacy of a drug, safety profile of certain organ. So I think it saves a lot of time as a review paper writer. I think this is a great tool because in the end, you're going to have a table summarizing literature, p-values comparison, especially if you combine it with the blind spots that you already fill in by research rapid. Disclaimer, I'm not saying you shouldn't read, but journal articles are not storybooks, they are not novel. So most of them are not written and meant for you to read from cover to cover. The old professor may really feel angry that I say this, but I'm still really firm to believe that when you find a paper, you must know why you are reading this paper. Is it because you need certain information? Is it because you are validating certain data point comparing different literature? So sometimes you have to have that clarity to go and skim through that paper anyway. So I think lateral is a really great tool that you can bookmark and tag certain keyword and systematically criticize and review the literature in a more efficient way. Streamline the process, but again, balance the expectation. Some of the more profound key discovery, I still think you need to read from cover to cover. But a lot of time when you're just looking for a p-value, comparing the efficacy, comparing safety between different clinical trials, for example, you're just going to need that one data point. And I think this comes really handy. So I've asked Christopher to spell it out for me. What's the big deal about the referral link? First, if you sign up through the link I share here, I'm going to thank you because I will get 500 pages for my own research. If you sign up during beta phase, you are going to get 500 pages on lateral. After the sign up, if you're an early user in the beta phase, you might be able to find this booster button that gives you 1000 more pages of PDFs. When you refer more friends, you're going to get 500 pages every friend you have. I hope this spelled it out for you. Thank you for using my referral link. I really needed more pages for my own research as well. And a secret, if you really struggle with pages, you can actually write to them and say, I really can't find enough friends to support my referral link, but I need more pages. They might contact you and ask you to give them a few feedback about the tool. And in return, you will also get a little more upgrade of your pages. So I think they convinced me because they are not going to put a charge to a PhD student. It aligns to my value that that there are free platforms that support original research. So I hope this video helps you get into these new resources and support your research. Get in the beta right now before they close because I don't know how long they will run beta. If they got enough feedback from everyone, then maybe it's no longer free. Once you sign up, it's going to stay free. The pages that you own will not be lost. So I hope this spelled it out and uh, I hope this video also link more people to use this helpful platform. And uh, if you publish a review, paper out of it, comment below and let me know because even you don't have funding and you don't have enough equipment, chemical resources, you only have a computer, your hand and your brain, your eye, you can still publish a review article. I hope this inspires you to do something with your career. This sums up today's video. If you're learning something today, please make sure to hit the like button so that it really will help me reach more PhD students out there. Comment below. Do you use already some of these tips? And share this with anyone that you're working with so that everyone can progress a little bit more as a scientist. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next time.